Welcome to Tech Presence with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use log analytics uh, to capture a view that uh, you are at a factory logs. So, so this is very helpful actually when uh, you are executing uh, multiple pipelines and you would like to know like uh, how many pipelines has been completed, how many pipelines has been failed, uh, what triggers has been running and all that. Uh, so as of now, what we do mostly, we go to the Azure Data Factory and in the Azure Data Factory, we go to the monitor and in the monitor, uh, we see that uh, pipeline um, uh, runs and uh, then uh, if we go to trigger runs, then we see the trigger runs information. So this is the information we see and, um, and then we can drill into it. But if I want to go, I can use filters and all that and between the date ranges and everything. But uh, there's no way writing a query here. So with the log analytics, it gives us more opportunity to write the query and then we can do all different sort of filtering in the query. The query is used in um, the log analytics use is called the Costa query. Okay, so first of all, uh, what we need to do, we need to configure that. So we are gonna go to the Azure portal and uh, our uh, pipelines here, uh, just to let you know that uh, I have created two pipelines and uh, they both are running uh, by using a trigger. So if you see right there, uh, each one is uh, using a trigger. One is uh, using an Asia copy trigger and other one is using a Europe trigger. So just uh, the name for those. Uh, trigger Europe underscore CX. Okay, so they are running on five minute schedule. Now, I want to go and uh, capture that all the information of pipeline execution, activity execution and all that uh, and then query it. So I will be using log analytics. So first of all, I will be creating a log analytics. So uh, I have to search for log analytics and here is the log analytics workspace. So that's what you will be selecting. Once you select that, you're going to go ahead and create and uh, in the create button, uh, you will be selecting your subscription and then selecting the resource group. Uh, in my case, it's techbrothers-rg. So now you can provide the name of it and I can call it Tech Brothers uh, Log Analytics. So LA, simple, you know, in the East US is just fine. And uh, I don't have to do any tagging and all that. So I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and uh, click uh, create and it should be just uh, fine. Our resource is in a deployment and uh, it should be deployed uh, soon. And uh, once it's deployed, then we'll be working on it. Uh, okay, our resource is ready. We can go to the resource. Uh, and uh, if you see right there, uh, that's our uh, Microsoft.log analytics uh, OMS. And uh, here is our overview. So you can see multiple things here. You are gonna see it is active, uh, the region and all that. Uh, you, you can see the workspace ID and the other uh, pricing to your pay as you go. So the, the pricing is depending on the, uh, uh, actually the log saved. So it's uh, per GB and all that. So I'm not expert on the pricing part, but if you wanna see for the pricing and all that, you can check the calculator and everything. So it will give you from there. Now you can collect the data from uh, multiple uh, data sources. So let's say if I want to collect the data from my Azure VM, I can click on Azure VM and uh, do that. Then I have uh, Windows and Linux agents. Then I have Azure activity logs if I would like to save them. So I can uh, do tons of things. So there are all these options available for me if I want to do that. But in my case, I'm not interested in any of these uh, data resources. I'm interested in uh, uh, Azure Data Factory. So that's what I have to connect uh, as a data source to the um, uh, log analytics workspace. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I will be going to the home and uh, then uh, once I'm in home, I'm going to go right here and then I will be going to the monitor and in the monitor, I will be finding uh, diagnostic settings. So I click on diagnostic settings and here it give me a lot of resources list, right? So it is saying your Azure subscription and then you can have a resource group. So I can select the resource group of tech browser, tech browser.rg. And once I do that, it is giving me different level of resources. It is giving me my storage. It is giving my Azure Data Factory. It is also giving me log analytics workspace. So you see right there, uh, right uh, here I will be selecting uh, so I can uh, just uh, unclick here and uh, just click uh, data factory and in the data factory then I can go right there and select uh, once I select that uh, it's uh, gonna ask me I already created this part because uh, I was working with the, some demo so you, know, you can ignore it uh, that's uh, fine we can add uh, diagnostic settings so uh, it is going to add entry like this you know so anyways uh, once we select our subscription, resource group, data factories, and then the resource name, that's the data factory. And then what we are gonna do, we are gonna add diagnostic settings. 
Once we select that, it gives me tons of uh, different options. Uh, it just asks me, hey, you want to save uh, activity runs? Yes, I would like to. Pe pipeline runs? Yes. Uh, trigger runs? Yes. Uh, so if somebody manually run the pipelines, uh, that's sandbox uh, uh, pipeline runs. Yes, I would like to save that too. Sand uh, sandbox activity runs. Uh, so manually, if somebody trigger the pipeline and then uh, save that. Uh, such a yes package event messages. Uh, so uh, as you guys know that there is a lift and shift uh, a feature that we can run our SSIS packages through the ADF so we can use that so as the SSIS packages can be executed from the ADF we can select all these options because we would like to see if the package failed complete or whatever you know so all the information for SSIS packages we would like to do that as well SSIS integration runtimes log as well because if you are running the SSIS packages you need to create the SSIS integration runtimes and once you have it you have would like to capture the logs for that and I can go ahead and select all metrics as well now uh, what I want to do here um, uh, right there uh, you have uh, options here how you would like to save uh, these uh, logs um, in our case uh, we would like to save these logs uh, to the log analytics uh, workspace so I'm going to click right there and it is going to ask me provide subscription your resource uh, uh, sorry uh, log analytics workspace uh, and that's in our case it's only one that we just created uh, and a resource uh, specific uh, so that's what you're going to choose so I believe it is uh, it saved the data for 30 days and then uh, uh, deleted. So just uh, read more details like for how many days the data will be saved. Uh, so log, those logs will be saved. So in this case, uh, I'm going to say log analytics uh, ADF. I'm going to give a name tech brothers uh, ADF. Okay, so I put the LA just for log analytics in front of it. So that's the name of the di diagnostic settings I'm saving once uh, I'm saved. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, the log analytics uh, will start uh, collecting the logs from the Azure Data Factory for all these uh, activities and pipeline runs and everything. Now let's go back to the uh, monitor here and uh, what we are going to do, uh, see right there you can also add other um, uh, resources if you like. Uh, so in case uh, I, I just, uh, if I will unselect all Data Factory you have uh, all those uh, different other options as well. Uh, so you can have tons of things, uh, whatever you have the resources available, you can always uh, put the into the log analytics. Um, and uh, it is going to show you something like that. So any resource that is enabled, so it is going to show you something like that. And uh, you can see right near, there. So that's what we have created. So yeah, if I can uh, click uh, on this guy and uh, I can actually uh, delete this old one. So I don't need it, uh, two of them, right? Because I already created the new one. So that's good. Okay, now what we will do here, we will go to the home and uh, in the home, uh, what we will be doing, we will be going to the Tech Brothers LA, that's our log analytics workspace. So you will be going to the logs here. And in the logs, uh, you are uh, we will be welcomed with set of queries. Uh, so you see right there, so it is uh, saying uh, queries pack, uh, select query pack, uh, and uh, there are tons of queries. Uh, so you can see all queries if you click right there that's all queries we have for each of different type of resources in my case i'm interested actually only to see the queries related to the data factory so i'm going to go to category and divide the resource type once i do that it gives me this filter on the left side where i can select my resource so see data factories if i click there it's going to show me the queries accordingly so now i have only the queries for a uh, data factory if I scroll down it's going to show me data share and then it's going to show me other type of query desktop virtual application groups so, so see as I'm moving uh, it's uh, also moving on the left side so that's what it is so once you click back it will show you now what you are going to do you're going to go ahead and say a run so I want to see this uh, uh, trigger run so if I run this query if uh, this that's the query if I run it it's telling me there is some error with this uh, uh, small uh, parenthesis so this is extra parenthesis uh, I have also provided the feedback to Microsoft like this uh, needs to be removed so that's uh, hopefully it will be removed if not uh, just remove it and uh, just uh, you can go ahead and execute now once you execute it is telling you there is nothing happened last 24 hours so I will suggest you wait for 10 to 15 minutes uh, uh, as uh, the data will be collected now let's uh, talk about a little bit more about scope so see select scope and here you can select the scope according to your uh, uh, different uh, items. So see right there, it's uh, saying all resource groups, uh, all uh, 
uh, resource types uh, and uh, all locations. Uh, so it's selecting everything. In my case, if I would like to just uh, uh, change the scope to my Azure Data Factory tag versus ADF, uh, I can sim simply uncheck and then check the resource uh, I'm interested in. So in this case, uh, now if I will apply, the scope will be changed. See right there, the scope has been changed. So this is how it is, uh, right? So what's going to happen, uh, you can uh, always uh, add a new query, you can have multiple queries and all that, uh, and you can change the scope if you want. Um, so it's your choice. So you can have scope according to the uh, resource group level and everything. So this is pretty uh, neat because uh, right now we don't have any data, that's why we are seeing these uh, different uh, errors here, okay? Uh, not error, just information. Okay, so uh, if you close all that, the one query will not be let you do close because at least one query has to be open right here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select, uh, uncheck this box and uh, select the scope of subscription level and then apply. Once I do that, uh, it's uh, gonna show me uh, all. So now we have a subscription level scope. So select the scope, uh, no scope selected. So you can select the scope. And you may have choose the items from the same resource, okay? So all, and here all, and here all. Okay, so you can choose whatever you want. So what I'm trying to show you, you have uh, the leverage to select the scope. So even you go further down there, you have these, whatever the resources you have available, you can select the scope, okay? So we are gonna wait for another 15 minutes, and once uh, we are done, uh, we will come back and run our queries, and I will show you some. ADF uh, 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 pipeline runs and activity runs. It's almost uh, 15 to 20 minutes and uh, now we should have some data. So I'm on the Azure portal. I'm gonna go to the Tech Brothers LA, that's our log analytics workspace. So once I click right there and uh, I'm gonna go to the logs here and uh, then uh, it's gonna show us the same set of queries. In this case, uh, what we are interested, we are interested in resource type. That's the data factory. So once I select uh, the resource type uh, here, uh, this uh, menu changes and then I have to scroll down and I have to find a data factory. So data factory is there and then uh, there are a set of queries available for me. So I can go ahead and uh, run this, uh, let's say uh, pipeline runs availability. So if I go ahead and run it and uh, it's uh, just uh, pasting this query and uh, it's saying, hey, show me, um, all uh, that information, same. Uh, I think this is the mistress, this extra uh, parenthesis right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute one more time and see what we get. Uh, so as uh, uh, you see that uh, this is a, looks like there is some data here and uh, I'm gonna go to results and see that. Uh, so you can see right there, uh, there are some is uh, shown as uh, resource ID and availability and all that. Okay, so I am more interested into the writing the query by myself and uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select all these uh, below rows and delete them. And I am interested in ADF pipeline run now. So let me show you actually here. So if uh, you go to the tables here, you see we have ADF uh, activity runs. Uh, we have ADF pipeline runs, ADF trigger runs, ADF and Azure matrix. So we have all these available. So if I just select or even just delete everything and now I type ADF pipeline. So it is it has intelligence. So once I click right there, what's gonna happen? It is gonna put this, uh, put me on second row where it has a pipeline and then say like you put where, okay? And then it has show me all those columns available, okay? So I'm not interested in that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete this part of, and I am going to run as it is. So I'm asking, hey, show me any pipeline that has been run in. And uh, so you see right there, it says the copy activity, Asia copy activity, uh, Europe. And uh, these are the pipelines has been running. So they've been running on uh, different uh, schedules. So here are some error information. So these been, uh, uh, this is information. So you they can go to the queue, progress, succeed. And uh, if they're failing, uh, the, you are seeing some error, they failed, right? So you can further navigate to it. And it is like, oh, what type of uh, error is? It is user type of error. And uh, you can further dig into that. Uh, so this all information is available to you, okay? So this can be very helpful uh, and you can create actually new alerts from here, depending on that. Let's say you are checking a copy activity, uh, sorry, you're checking this uh, copy customer Europe, 
this is a pipeline and if it is failing uh, and in last 15 minutes it failed for three times or whatever you can create a new alert here and it will send you an email so you have to go through that we will do this in another video so now if i am interested in just to see the data for my europe pipeline so i can always do that so there is a filter we can do that so or uh, you can uh, see where status is equal to in progress or failed so i'm gonna hit enter put a pipe sign and uh, going to say where status and then uh, is equal to equal to double th two times all right and then you are going to say succeeded actually let's uh, look for the failed one so and then the put double quotes around it now that's uh, you can execute and uh, you can see that these are the pipeline which has been failed and if you want to further uh, put uh, more uh, uh, filters you can hit enter again put a uh, uh, pipe sign where and uh, then you will say another such as uh, uh, maybe uh, you know whatever the level uh, you have or uh, maybe you have a uh, subscription or time and all that uh, so you can select whatever you want uh, so uh, every time or you can uh, instead of uh, having multiple where clauses you can always uh, say and clause as well so you can say and um, uh, resource ID whatever you know is equal to equal to so there, there are multiple ways to write close to queries you can keep using the where clause with the pipe sign or you can use the end and it will work uh, you know so if you wanna uh, interested let's say we delete this guy we go to queries now and in the queries uh, we are gonna navigate further down there in the data factory so these are the set of queries that, that we saw, saw on the portal when we open it so those sample queries so if i want to just uh, use these queries and i can click pipeline runs uh, availability or pipeline runs top five failures uh, i can click right there and uh, whatever the uh, it brought the query and uh, if we execute you know it's going to show us the results so as there are so many clauses and all that you know is not equal to user error so uh, you, you see that uh, that's a problem right so i'm saying in my case i'm going to say user you know uh, error i'm interested actually in that so equal to equal to user error so uh, these are there you know so you can see right there you know and uh, it will uh, see the chart is there so number of times this has been failed and all that so you can modify a little bit here and there and if you want to like oh i'm not interested in status uh, uh, such as a uh, queued and progress and all that you can just uh, delete that and uh, then uh, run it uh, you know without those statuses uh. so you're gonna learn uh, tons of uh, from here see the same results is returning uh, so you you have that availability now if you want to go activity runs uh, top five so you can just uh, uh, say top five and uh, it will uh, put that query under it uh, so you can delete the top one right here and uh, then run the next one uh. So, okay so you can choose these queries or uh, you can go back to the tables and you see the tables available and these tables has these all the columns available for you in this case if we are interested to see the act adf activity runs so because the pipeline has the activities right so i'm going to delete the, the pipe sign and just execute uh, as it is and you can see that uh, we can see all those uh, operations and the category and everything so it tells you activity run and then it has all the information so you can see from there you know what type of uh, activity type it is this is a copy data activity so that's uh, we don't have any other activity in the pipeline so it is showing you uh, activity iteration count so if it is looping through like such as for each loop and all that is going to show you so it is going to show you the error messages is here and uh, you can see tons of information so i hope uh, you learn how to use uh, uh, the uh, log analytics uh, and capture uh, the Azure Data Factory logs uh, in the log analytics uh, and uh, write queries uh, to see that information. In the next video, we will create some alerts and how to send an email uh, from the log analytics uh, in case uh, your pipeline failed. Thank you very much for watching and please uh, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video.